Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your monthly reading for January 2023 and Happy New Year. I am so excited to do your reading for this month. This is for Gemini Sun and Rising. And if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cultic cross spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity to get more specific with your reading. Now, Gemini, I do this because I love you and I want you to feel like it's a personal reading rather than a general spread. Secondly, astrology and tarot have gone hand in hand for centuries. In fact, astrology came first and that's why every tarot card is assigned an astrological element or alignment or really planet i mean we get really deep all right now gemini if there's one sign that should be excited for january it's you okay now the reason i say that and if you saw my 2023 year ahead uh, of reading you will know that i said january uh, or actually 2023 doesn't actually really start until about january 22nd now the reason why is because we have three major planets retrograde in the first few weeks now the reason why this is affecting you the most, A, Mars is in Gemini, Mars is in your sign, and Mars is retrograde, okay? So if you've been feeling that things have been going slow and things have not been going your way, it's because the action planet is not doing anything at all. <laughs> but he's finally going direct, okay, mid-January. Secondly, Mercury is retrograde. Mercury is your ruling planet, all right? So, speaking of delays, nothing happening. You may feel the first few weeks. It's just like, oh, you know, like twiddling your thumbs, like, all right, what's gonna happen? But here's the good news. They're going direct. Uranus is finally going direct. That's gonna happen on, you know, I think it's January 20th. Let me pull my calendar up, but it is going to happen um, on the 22nd, yeah. So. When I say 2023 doesn't start until around January 20th to the 22nd, I'm like, you're going to feel it, Gemini. You're going to feel it the most. Things are going to go boom, 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 like light speed, okay? Light speed in a way like, you know, kind of like, uh, like a cartoon, like the Roadrunner. It's like leaving a poof of smoke. Oh my goodness, things are going to blaze ahead, especially because we know Jupiter is in Aries right now, okay? Jupiter in Aries, that's your 11th house, so that's your uh, network. You'll be expanding your network. You'll be uh, having a lot of uh, fun time with friends, but the 11th house rules your hopes and dreams, okay? Your hopes and dreams have been on hold because Mars has been retrograde in your sign since Halloween, and Mercury has been retrograde since the end of December. I mean, come on, things are gonna move fast for you, okay? so. That's really exciting. We also have a glorious, glorious, amazing, amazing uh, full moon in Cancer on the 6th. Uh, that's going to be in your second house, okay? Self-value, but money, that's salary right there, right? So you could see a lot of activity. Um, and then we also are going to enter uh, Aquarius season, your BFF, Gemini, all right? Your BFF Aquarius season. We have a, oh my gosh, a very high energy uh, new moon in Aquarius. Okay, that's going to happen toward the end of the month. And uh, Gemini, that is your ninth house. So that's a lot of like mind expansion. Some of y'all may be going on some long distance trips. Uh, and are you, if, you, if you're working on a book, hey, come on, this is it. This is the time. All right. This is the time. All right. Uh, website book. I mean, it rules publishing the ninth house too. All right. But really it's, there's a lot of spirituality there. All right. When I say higher mind expansion, just really absorbing all this, you know, new things in terms of, you know, you probably thought about your resolutions for the new year and whatnot, but really making them a reality and really just trusting your instincts and moving forward. Now, Gemini, let's go ahead and get started with your reading the last thing i'm going to say is stay tuned to the end because i pull a card a week and so in addition to my weekly readings uh for every monthly reading i pull a card a week just to give you a little idea a preview of what to expect each week and like i said there's a lot happening in january there's a lot happening in january okay one other thing i'm going to point out and you're going to appreciate this gemini because you are the you know sign of communication is that uranus is really active okay oh my goodness but in a good way with all these trines and 
Ah, uh, sex tells. So uh, there's gonna you could get a lot of really fun, surprising news. Okay, a lot of fun, surprising news. A lot of unexpected news that are good. All right, a lot of really good surprises. So let's go ahead and get started, Gemini. For January 2023. Now, listen, Gemini, like I said earlier, I do a traditional content cross spread. It is what my clients prefer. If you want to book a private reading, you know where to find me. Secondly, Gemini, I love you and I am so excited for this year for you. It, ugh, come on, come on. I love this. You're, listen, there's a lot of activity happening and with Mars in your sign, just buckle your seatbelt, okay? Mars is gonna be in your sign, all right, until March, all right? So, uh, well, March, April, but listen, just, we're entering a brand new, like, era starting in March, and, you know, again, I talked about this in my uh, yearly thing, but when we get to that point, I'll, I'll talk about it more, but there's a lot of big alignments in March, okay? So, uh, Gemini, here we go. Let's get started. You got the hangman. I love this. You had that moment where you're like, F it, what's going on? Uh, things are just not working out for me. I get it. Listen, like I said, Mercury's retrograde. Mars has been retrograde since Halloween. And there were a lot of uh, like uh, uh, stuff that happened, okay? Like, listen, I've been doing your readings for a long time. I get where, you know, I've seen your highs. I've seen your lows, okay? Now, there it's almost like you you finally put your foot down you're like okay i gotta look at things differently i need to do things differently um but there is also I, the fact that you got the hanged man indicates you could have sur surrendered something okay you could have made a sacrifice in order to have this new perspective to look at things in a new way to move forward in in a auspicious way okay this came up in your past and that's great okay and sometimes these moments are forced sometimes there's something that happens where it's just like nah! right and then you're just like, like okay now i feel better now i know I, what i don't need in my life i'm gonna like let it go and i'm gonna move forward okay i love that for you this is amazing that you did have that moment because look where it's brought us okay you got the seven of cups all right so remember this reading is for january all right this is indicating you will have a lot of opportunities come through however i want you to do two things okay i call this the card of illusion and delusion all right so you can see that the universe is gifting this young man a lot of different little cups all right cups represent emotions but you can see they're not all that great they're all very different first of all okay and so uh, you can see like in one cup there's beauty and another there's you know uh, victory and it, 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 they're, they're, they're all different right now this came up in the heart of your spread so you will have options now the two things that you need to know one you need to read the fine print okay it was something if you get a job offer if 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 you're dating someone you're on your fourth date and then they do something and you're like hmm that was suspicious, right? Read the fine print. Just really know because Mercury is retrograde. Mercury is your ruling planet, all right? And Mercury is retrograde until um, the 18th of January, all right? So that's one thing, all right? The second thing is there could be a lot of things that come through once Mars goes direct, all right? And listen, hey, that's great. It's better to have opportunities and options than none at all, right? Some of them may just may not be good for you. At this point, I want you to keep your eyes on the prize. I want you to really stay focused on what one thing that you really want, okay? I want you to stay focused on that one thing that you really want and then branch out from there, okay? Because that's going to be really important, especially with the seven of cups in the heart of your spread. Now, I don't do reversals. I know that that card came up reverse, but it's really just the same message. Just listen, you may have a lot of different things that you want all right or a lot of different opportunities could come through just really focus on that one thing okay focus on that one thing that you want the most all right don't get distracted at this point okay especially with these planets retrograde okay there's a lot of like there could be a lot of miscommunication uh you could be signing something that first of all don't sign anything, right? Until Mercury goes, you know, direct, which is the 18th. Don't sign anything because um, it's 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 really it's something it could change with that contract, all right? Um, so it, and that's with like new jobs or whatever. Um, I, I remember I actually signed something for a new job during a Mercury retrograde. I knew that I was doing it. 
I really had no other option, but I, I, I went into it knowing that this was not going to last. Okay. Uh, because it was, it, you just never signed during a Mercury retrograde or something would change. And lo and behold, three months later, <laughs> there was, I wasn't there anymore. Things changed. All right. So don't sign anything if you can hold it off. Um, just know that sometimes with uh, and the only reason I'm making a big deal of this if for you specifically is because Mercury is your ruling planet. So it does affect you the most. You and Virgo. OK, you're co co ruled co ruled. Um, here's the thing. You did get the ten of wands. OK, in your challenge area. All right. So I don't want you to. Um, first of all, I want you to be a little bit more social this month. Okay. I want you to be social. I want you to go out there because listen, it's all about Remember I said Jupiter is in your 11th house. Jupiter is a planet of good luck, good fortune, prosperity, but also expansion. Okay. You never know who the people uh, that you meet can connect you with for, you know, job opportunity or, you know, apartment that you're looking for, or if you're single or do you know what I mean? Like that's how it works. Okay. But also with the 10 of wands in your challenge area, listen, and you can see that he's carrying all these wands alone. All right. So listen, back breaking work. I don't know how much wands weigh in tarot, but I know how much bamboo weighs in real life and it's really effing heavy. All right. So it's almost to the point where you have to ask yourself when this card comes up, listen, you've worked really hard. You've re I mean like blood, sweat and tears. Okay. But you, it's, it, 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 it was almost to the point where people may have asked, do you need help? There's a lot of like, you're carrying a lot of burden. You're carrying a lot of weight. There's a lot going on and it looks like you could be on the verge of burnout. Okay. Whether it's been looking for like a new job or maybe you've been working on this book and, or maybe you've been investing way too much in this relationship and it's been one sided. Take that moment to just think about that, that, okay? Think about it because this came up, 10 is the end of the cycle, first of all, okay? So it this indicates that, that all that hard work and all that backbreaking work is coming to an end. You're gonna be laying these ones down soon, but it came up in your challenge area, all right? So what is, I mean, like, have that recognition, okay? Be self-aware in the moment right now. Is there something that is really burdensome? Is there something that you do have to let go? If you haven't already, you should have. You did get the hanged man, all right? You did get the hanged man. So if you haven't made that surrender, it's time to make that surrender for those things that are possibly a little too much. And quite frankly, the energy is of a new energy, all right? So letting some of those things go that, you know, feel burdensome okay feel a little suffocating and you know even just entering this new era thinking about this new beginning all right now listen you also got another 10 you got the 10 of swords all right you got it in your crown swords are the mental suit so the fact that this came up is indicating that you've been through it you've been through it like i said earlier you've had you've had your highs you've had your lows you've had a lot of lows i'm not gonna lie there's been some moments where gemini's like things have been like especially with those eclipses especially with mars going retrograde in your sign i mean come on but listen the good news is the dark clouds are clearing it's to let the sun through okay this is dawn okay so new dawn remember 10 is the end of the cycle this is a new dawn hand gesture of this poor little man here is of the hierophant you know the hierophant has a deep sacred knowledge and wisdom all right so this is like rebirth all right rebirth energy think of these swords aligning the chakras all right so we've come to the end of that and it's almost like you want all this to end there's a, a connection between what's up here with you know all the passions and, and and everything that you want especially career career is coming up okay a lot of career energy is coming up you're just over it you're ready to just move forward so having that surrender is really good now boom affirmation right here you got the world all right so this came in the root of your spread indicating remember look at this by the way you got two tens here you got um two sevens all right a lot of desire but like a lot of a desire for the end of this what you've been going through the past few weeks months even you know 
the year for some Geminis. But listen, you just want it to end. The world, the end of the major arcana. This is the last card, okay? Last of the trump cards. Now you can see it's victory, success, the four six four fixed signs in the universe. It's a lot of stability with the four, right? Four is order and stability. But listen, this is victory, success, and we've come to the end. So it's time for this new journey, okay? Time for this new journey, all right? So remember, with the seven of cups, you are going to have options. I want you to just be really really aware of you know what you, you what you really want okay what you really want and if you there's a lot of things you want just be laser focused on that one thing and then just expand from there okay you're going to be 1000% fine because you got the wheel of fortune in your future all right it has been a really long time by the way gemini where i've seen the wheel of fortune in the future um area of the spread for any sign okay this is the card of good luck this is the card of divine intervention this is game changing this is a new cycle okay 10 remember this is your third 10 okay 10 one zero equals one new beginning now this is when i say divine intervention this is divine intervention this is the gods up there saying oh hey look at that gemini gone through the ringer and she he and she gone through the ringer we're gonna just bless them now we're gonna give them all this like this is a lot card of luck prosperity this is literally destiny coming down to put you on your you, you know path of, of the faith that you belong on okay you have a lot of luck on your side all right now we all know jupiter is in your 11th house okay your hopes and dreams okay so as and this is actually the first time um well i would say this year but come on it's january this is the first time in a long time that um the world and the wheel of fortune have come up in the same thread all right i can't even actually remember the last time these two came up okay you see the four fixed signs in both these cards gemini you're good you're good. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. You have options coming through. You have, you're coming to the end of an era uh, or a, 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 this chapter in your life and a chapter of where it was possibly unfavorable, possibly you stressed a lot, possibly burden, challenging. We're coming to the end of that. You have, uh, oops, wrong place. You have the Wheel of Fortune in your future. All right, Gemini? things are going to look up for you in a big big way and the fact that you got the seven of cups in 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 the in your, the heart of your spread expect to have a lot of opportunities start coming up soon so gemini let's get to your stuff i'm i'm so excited for you actually oh my god gemini this is amazing um if you're new to my channel by the way be great if you like, subscribe, leave comments. You know I love comments. If you are a subscriber, I love emojis. If you don't have time to write a comment, uh, it's a good time to hold up your phone. Boom, boom. I don't care what, it, like any emojis. I don't even care what emoji. I love emojis. It always brings a smile to my face when I get like emojis. Um, and then again, if you're a subscriber, you know I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here every week and you know happy new year for to all y'all and y'all it's going to be a great year so let's get to your staff boom you got the eight of cups now we started with a hanged man letting things go surrendering all right new perspective moving forward you have all these options you have all the tens you're coming to the end all right now this is indicating you're finally moving forward okay this is a game-changing moment by the way this is incredibly game-changing you see that eclipse happening in the background you see all that water a little emotional but you see the obstacles in the water yet you're going red cape this is passion to just move forward leaving these cups behind they're not serving you well you've acknowledged it you're ready you're just like eff it i'm moving forward okay good for you this is empowerment okay this is good this is good and i'm glad and for a lot of y'all who haven't done it yet trust you'll be fine. Trust that you'll be fine. Leave those things that you don't need. Leave them back in 2022. You got the Queen of Cups, all right? You got the Queen of Cups in your external factors area. As we know, she is the most loving queen, all right? This is very, very, you know, 
I always call her the Princess Diana, like the Mother, mother Teresa of, of Tarot. Just loving, just very maternal, very just, le- you know, she's leading with her heart. She cares about everybody in her kingdom to the point where she knows the name of everyone. It doesn't matter if it's the emperor. It doesn't matter if it's a farmer. That's how loving she is. And she's also very psychic. She's also very intuitive, okay? Now, in your external factors area, there's someone coming through that's going to help you. Someone who is like the Queen of Cups. Someone who wants to take care of you. I love that energy, okay? And it doesn't have to be a woman. It's just, you know, feminine energy here. It can be a man as well. But there's someone that's going to come through this month and really, really take care of you, okay? But you also have, remember, the Wheel of Fortune in your future. A lot of abundance, okay? A lot of a lot coming through as well now you also got the seven of swords um listen there's a part of you here's the thing okay let's just cut to the chase some of y'all are are uh have this part of the thing that you have to let go is this fear okay it's this fear of you know uh not really trusting yourself to make decisions or this fear of you know, almost like the fear of of, of uh, people doing things underhanded around you. But remember, this is all about empowerment, right? The Eight of Cups, the first card in your staff. You are going to have opportunities. You're coming to the end of this major cycle in your life, starting a new cycle with luck, the most luck and abundance. It is this is a game-changing read okay game-changing read but um i want you to know that listen you have nothing to be afraid of you don't have to hide don't i mean listen don't i like uh some gemini's may feel like or you, you may know that you're like lying to yourself about something um and but the bigger message is coming through is that not good enough uh, feeling some Gemini's have that like there's been situations in the past that have made you feel that you're not good enough for you know like this job or this relationship or this or that it's time to let all that go it's time to let all that go okay Gemini you're good you are good okay secondly there are some Gemini's who are trying to uh, get away from someone who is possibly doing something that could have been you know really had an impact on your self-esteem and your uh, uh, you know even ego right like there is someone that could have been lying to you or, or even cheating on you okay uh, some, some doing something underhanded all right but listen if you need to, you can see that, you know, this guy is, is, is stealing all those swords, by the way, rather in, in broad daylight. All right. He's going to get caught. So um, listen, if you need to take this moment to remember, you are golden. You're set. You've already left a lot of that BS behind. All right. With the hanged man, with eight of cups, don't let any of those patterns show up for 2023 all right you are amazing and it's all you know just feel empowered i want you to feel liberated okay not limited all right i want you to have those moments all right i want you to grow not be stagnant all right i want you to choose love love yourself don't choose fear okay this is honestly it's time leaving it all behind because look at your future your final outcome. I don't make this up, Gemini. You saw me shuffle this spread. This is the card of victory. This is the card of success. This is the card of public achievements. You can see that this is a procession. This is like the parade, okay? And so in parades, these horses don't just stand there. They're walking through, all right? So this is just one of many achievements to come. In your final outcome, all right, you are on this amazing path. Gemini, you're on this amazing, uh, I, like I, when I say things are going to start moving fast for you, like around mid-month, like trust, all right? Trust. 
trust 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 now as i said earlier i pull a card a week just to give you a little bit more insight the first week of january venus is going into aquarius um the main thing it, i want to talk about is that full moon in cancer gemini that is in your second house okay so remember second house is uh your salary income uh and this is a wonderful wonderful full moon also it's 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 all about breakthroughs it's coming right after the sun trining uranus you could have some unexpected news show up around this time but like really good news okay so that said let's see what is going on for you <laughs> look at you look at you king of pentacles come on all right oh talk, come on i'm not even come on i don't listen it's the king of pentacles this is money this is wealth this is the richest man in tarot all right you can see his hand on the pentacle okay he's owning his money he's owning his wealth at this point okay has the resources all right to build the empire that he wants but also to be that person who doesn't have to worry about money anymore doesn't have to worry about finances but also be that person that you know if somebody in his in his family and his in, in his friend group and his network community if they're you know going through tough times he's the one that takes care of them you know like you got someone that you know a friend that's like oh man i can't pay rent i'm 400 dollars short you're the one that's gonna be you're gonna be like oh you need 400 bucks i got you all right this is that you're moving toward this is the first week okay so I love that. I love that, especially with that full moon in Cancer, just the synchronicity of that in your, you know, second house of salary, all right? That's all about money and wealth. Now, the second week, oh gosh, this is the week we're going to love. Mars goes direct, filing goes direct. But you know what's also really great is that Venus is trining Mars, all right? We all know about Mars and Venus. Come on. When they try, listen, Gemini, if you're single, you better get your butt out there. You better start, you know, f uh, downloading Tinder or whatever app it is to like, this is a great day for finding love for, uh, yeah, it's all, it's a sexy day, especially even if you're in a relationship. Oh my goodness. But the fact that Mars is going direct, oh gosh, you can finally move forward with projects. I mean, with your ideas with your passions with just about anything i mean this is that's an amazing aspect so gemini boom you got the two of wands all right so listen this is a lot of planning for your future you can see he's standing at the highest point in the castle he has the world in his hand great view right from the top right but also great perspective great vision all right so start that planning all the things that all the things that you've been wanting start plan just put it into motion to, to to start planning it all right don't pull the trigger because remember mercury's still retrograde but you know that's when we come to week three so week three mercury finally goes direct all right so you can take action we you know and there may actually be some things that actually happen for you around this time anyway because um like i said that we enter aquarius season and this we have that very powerful new moon in, in aquarius i mean it is really really i mean it's 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 a totally like very high energy it's it's uh aquarius is human humanity it's you know having that independence uh, it's you know there's like a little like a little bit of like a rebellious streak with aquarius too but listen um it is at the end of the day it rules technology too and so i love that as happening as mercury does go direct because mercury rules techno it's a planet that rules you know it the technology so anyway uh third <laughs> third week of um of whatchamacallit uh january i love it okay you got the death card so remember all of this your look at your entire spread here you're on you're embarking on this new journey all right new chapter all the the the, the challenging things from the past say bye bye all right you got the death card all right this come on death this is a transformational process this is you know death is nothing but a point in time all right look this is leaving one chapter starting and you see the sun coming out on the horizon you see a lot of purity here okay the white horse the right the white uh rose the you know uh one thing i'm gonna point out you see the skeleton on the horse all right fully protected the skeletons in armor you're protected you're fine secondly the reason why um it's a skeleton is because out of our bodies 
the skeleton endures the longest all right this has a really long shelf life you are really like with that new moon in aquarius you are on the brink i mean just expect a lot of change just a positive change okay now the last week of january uranus finally goes direct we love that um yeah. so at this point this is when 2023 really does start okay because all these three planets two of which were impacting you the most okay finally going direct uh mark january 24th in your calendar the sun is sextiling jupiter that is the best day of january i love the rest of it i love this the fact the sun is trining mars mercury your planet is trining uranus um you really just like more surprising news could happen that week and also um that is my birthday week so i'm very excited for that week and so the last card for you the nine of swords okay so everything that you have been struggling through everything that's been impacting your mental health is coming to an end i love that for you okay you see all these swords stacked up all right there's been you know uh, you've been losing sleep there's been a lot that's been happening like you've been going through it okay remember the swords are the mental suit all right now again listen this is all about choices as well it's like you can decide to stay in that bed or you can decide to move forward and it looks like you will be moving forward all right because you already got the ten of swords in your crown that's all you want really and so this last week nine obviously comes before ten so this is just saying you're coming out of it all right remember what i said earlier you're going to choose growth okay over being stagnant you're going to i want you to be liberated not limited all right and i want you to feel empowered not powerless you're going to choose love over fear this man has fear he has grief he has doubt no this is where you can see the comfort here by the way you can see all the amazing astrological symbols you can see the roses there's a lot of comfort in that comforter i know it's a play on words but that's how things work in this world now again sure you can stay here you can stay here and just not get out of bed or you can choose to move forward and accept all this amazing amazing stuff that's gonna happen for you all right remember you got the wheel of fortune in your future and your final outcome you got the victory success card you got the queen of cups and your external factors you have all these cards indicating all of this all of this is coming to an end all right time to move forward time to move forward especially with mars all right in your sign finally going direct mercury going direct ah gemini i love you so much you're amazing thank you so much for being here happy new year love you so much um again if you're new to my channel it would be great if you like subscribe leave comments and if you're a subscriber same thing <laughs> um with the comments part i love hearing from y'all um and you know i love you so thanks so much and i will see you next week bye bye